Hey there everybody, welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. This is Spiraling Helix. Last time we made some of our final preparations because this time it's about time but we are finally able to head inside the Crimson Tower. We've found all three of the chosen toads. We've helped the Purple Rescue Squad to receive a special thing. Mario, we've been waiting. I'm sure that's you down in the comments saying that too. The three chosen toads hath assembled. It's time to fulfill our destiny. Uh, nothing's happening. But it is written in the book of hitting things with hammers. Hey Mario, I think you could give us a little oomph, like some kapow? You know what I mean. I think I can, Justice Toad. And Surfer Toad. And... Awesome Mountain Sage Toad. Had to think about that one for a bit. It worked, but the toads are gone. Thank you for your sacrifice, chosen toads. I'll tell my children and my children's children's parents about you. We're still alive. You were really just gonna smoosh us and leave? Go make your face in the Crimson Tower, young ones. Take care. I hope you find the big paint star for justice. We will. And actually, one thing I kind of want to bring up as we're walking over to the Crimson Tower. Take a look at the crazy unicorn-shaped horns that they all had. They actually spell out the word key. What? I know, I didn't realise that for multiple playthroughs either, Huey. Oh. Whoa, 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 what ha happened? Mario, what? How? This? It's all bone wise. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be sick. What do we even do? There's no way we can paint all of this with our little hammer. No offense. But this is. We're done. We can't do anything here. Huh? What's that? Johnson, I told you to pull up the anchor. Hey, you down there, think you could unsnag our anchor, pretty please? W well, I mean, come on, Johnson, seriously? But I, I guess we can hit the ride on the anchor then. You okay, Mario? We managed to get on the ship. This is our chance. Let's hide like this thing and take that bucket of paint back. You got it, Huey. Heading... Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Can I... Wait. Wait, come on. Oh. I am still going to show off this battle because as far as I'm aware, it's pretty darn impossible to avoid this fight. But I think with my attempt there, I think it might be possible. Although it's so hard that I'm not even gonna give it a chance. 
Anyway, they're just normal flying lights though. We are on board the airship. It's about time we took control of this thing. And so let's go show her. Let's... Yeah. Thank you, cutscenes. Let's go show these guys who's boss. M Mario, how'd you get on this ship? We've got a stowaway here, boys. Get him. Okay, here we go, and this guy's got a hat on, which means that he means business. So let's just use some of our hammers. Actually, do I have... I do have some multiple jumps. Let's use a hammer and three jumps. Wait, I should have... No, that killed them all. All good. I didn't even need multiple jumps. One day I'll get an excellent with the hammer. I was worried that wouldn't kill them all in one shot. But we did it. That's not good. Maybe we should have kept one of them around to pilot this thing. Mario, I'll try to stabilize the ship. Go after the bucket. There must be a switch or something to release it. Well, as much as I really want to press the big red button, in case you're wondering, yes, the shy guy here has magically disappeared or abandoned the ship, who knows what, but yes, he cannot steer the ship. Can I knock the wheel or any? I, okay, I can't resist it anymore, guys. Oh, I'm pressing the button. Oh, scrap. Why even have a self-destruct button on your airship? That's just bad engineering! But it's all good, because the Crimson Tower is crimson again. It'll probably be pretty rough in there, Mario. Maybe we should restock our cards before we go in. And the know it old toad in the trash can in Poor Prisma can tell us if we'll need anything special. Again, I do highly recommend that you bring in a certain thing, the fire extinguisher, that's what the know-it-all toad will say. And although I, he recommends stocking up, in fact, I kind of downgraded. But it's time, guys. Let's head in the Crimson Tower. Hey, Mario. This is it. The Crimson Tower Bridge. Isn't she a beaut? Go on, Mario. Cross the bridge. Cross the bridge. Yes, we will, bridge expert. Into the tower with a giant bucket on us. We've made it, guys. We got a Goomba here. But it's just, it's just a Goomba. I'm sure we'll be fine if we ignore him. But heading on through... Morton! Why Morton here? Oh yeah! The big aunt. Big old pain star. Need find big pain star. Find right now, and fastly! You heard that right? Big pain star? I think he means big pain star. It's got to be at the top of this tower. We need to get up there now. But wait, how does he even know the big paint star is here? And also, who was that guy? Didn't you see the intro cutscene, Huey? It, he said, and he said his name too. It's, it's Morton. What else do you need to know? Anyway, though, it seems like we can already spy our first boss up ahead. 
It seems to be one of the dreaded Koopalings, which does look awesome, might I add. Okay. I have a bone to pick with that treadmill. That treadmill has got to be random, I swear. The order that the enemies appear in, at least. Whether it's left, right, or center. That said, the enemies... There are quite a few that like to come out of here. Although they do run on a loop, so th that's... Uh... You know what? I don't... I don't even know if they run on a loop. Forget I just said that. But the enemies are there, each loop might be random, but anyway, I want to check out the hole that he left in the... Abandon! Wait... No! I painted the paint spot, you can't stop me! Anyway, though, let's take on these goo... Five... Goo you need to make me use two cards, really, game? Really? Well, I think... No. I'm saving the blaze hammer for later. I think I'll just use my triple worn out hammers. Probably only need two of them, because they're goombas. But let's... You... Yes! I got an excellent. I've been waiting 12 episodes to do that. And what's killed me about... A, a mushroom, really. What's killed me about not getting excellence is that... I get them all when it's off screen. Like any time I'm going through a level because I missed a darn paint spot and I fight an enemy, I'll get excellence on the hammer strikes and I'm like, <gasps> why? Anyway, we've got a large staircase to ascend. Getting past these Goombas is honestly the hardest part. You kind of want to jump diagonal back and back up again. It's very weird. These Goombas aren't a problem. I will show them off because they are a new enemy, but not quite yet. That's why I recommend you make the back spin in case you're wondering that you don't land on them again. Okay, Goombas taken care of. Let's avoid this fight too if we can help it. Seems like some of the rail was missing back. Whoa, they came closer down than I thought. Again, there's more up ahead that I recommend you fight those if you want to really fight any of them. But making our way further, we got... No, we fought some Cooper Power Troopers before in Daffodil Peak. I don't need to show them off. We have a new card, but you can guess what that does. Okay. I just ran away from that fight, but if you look on the main pillar in the center, you might see a hidden cutout. That's right. This is one of the sneakiest optional cutouts and hiding beneath it. We have two delicious looking cards that I don't recommend eating because they are pieces of wood. We have two hammers. They will be very helpful for the boss fight coming up very, very soon, guys. Hopefully. And look at that, the paratroopers take time to charge up, so you can just... Ro That's a good... No. No. You... Why would you do this to me, Kevin? I, I need to pay attention. What's the curse? What's the curse? Please don't touch these cards here. Ah, okay then. I'm going to use the two hammers I just got because I can see exactly where they are. Again, you can kind of tell. Oh, sorry, my cards are flipped over as you can t see. There we go. But you can kind of tell another excellent. What? I killed that in one hit? Um, okay, I'm actually gonna fight another one for you guys, just to show off the enemy a little bit. And I gotta say, I've, this is honestly a failed recording, but last time, I sent a Goomba out against these guys. A Goomba that I'd have had from the previous episodes, 
Sadly, I don't have a Goomba with me today. But I do have a jump card, and I believe the same thing will happen. Let's find out. Basically, the Goombas will jump on the enemies. But if you jump on the enemies, you're sent flying. So what happened is I was ready to show off how the Goomba attacks. And just imagine, I hope I can get a clip of this in the future and insert it here at a laser point. But just imma- What am I doing? Jumps don't work! Imagine a Goomba going, Okay, I can take on the multiple Goombas that I've lived my whole life training with. I can do this. Just for them to launch it into space and back. I have... Sorry, I, I couldn't help myself. It was too funny. But enough about what you don't get to see. Finally did that battle. Let's make our way further up... Whoop, the tower. And I believe this is on to the next room. Yes, it is. And... Up here, I think we see... No. You know what? I'm gonna be cruel, guys. I'm gonna be cruel and hold off the rest of the level from you at this moment. Next time we will finish this level, beat Morton the Koopaling, and claim the first big paint star. This has been Spiraling Helix. Bye bye